So you may be interested in purchasing a home and you see the interest rates are on the rise, it's gone up quite a bit, and you have quite a bit of cash. You're wondering, should I buy a home all cash? How much money should I put down? How much money should I borrow from the bank? Today we're gonna to talk about the pros and cons of that decision. Hi, this is Heather Lynn with Keller Williams Realty. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, we talk about real estate trends, real estate updates, and what is it like to live in the San Francisco Peninsula and Silicon Valley neighborhoods, how to sell your house for top dollar, and much more. So if you're interested in that content, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button so there will be new videos coming your way every week. I've helped hundreds of families buy and sell real estate here in the Bay Area, and I would love to be of assistance to you and share my knowledge and expertise with you. So obviously there's not a formal for how much money you should borrow. I would say that the pros of all cash offer is definitely stands out when you're competing against buyers with traditional loans, right? All cash obviously means that you could close fast. Obviously means that there's not this uncertainty with banks not approving your loan. So when it comes to making offers in a competitive situation, you definitely have an edge if you have sufficient cash to make a purchase of a property and that short close is definitely attractive to sellers who are looking to unload the home and move on with their life so it will give you some a little bit of an edge in a competitive offer situation. Obvious advantage of paying all cash is that you don't have the bank and mortgage to pay, no interest payments. So you are looking at just having the lower expenses for owning the home. So what do you think? I would love to know if you're a homeowner, how much down payment did you put down when you first purchased your home? Comment below and let me hear what it's like for you in your situation. So what are the disadvantage of paying all cash? You know, the 30 year mortgage rates are hovering around 5% right now. We are in the middle of April, 2022. Interest rate has gone up from last year. However, historically, we're still at a low point. We are now looking at the 30 year mortgage rate hovering around 4.5 to 5% in interest rates. Uh, that is still relatively low. I remember when I bought my first property back in 2007, I was paying 6.75% in my mortgage. So compared to that, we're still at a low point. So I would say if you could borrow money, borrow money because the inflation rate, we are, this year we had in 2022, we're looking at a high inflation rate of 8.5% and banks are lending money out for 4.5 to 5%. So you're still beating the inflation and your money, if you could have other ways of investing that could generate a higher return, I would say you might consider doing that and then just leverage the bank's money as much as you could. Obviously, most of banks will prefer to have a 20% down to qualify you for the best interest. So you want to put down, you know, enough down so to get the best, most favorable rates. However, I would say that if you could qualify for a good loan, borrow that money from the bank first, you could always pay it off more aggressively later on. The other disadvantage of paying all cash on your home is that you will miss out on the tax deduction. As you know, mortgage interests could be tax deductible against your income tax. So as a result of paying mortgage interest, you are actually paying less on your income tax. So you don't want to miss out on that. Obviously here in California, there is a cap on the California. You could only deduct up to $10,000 between mortgage interest and property tax. So you want to kind of play with that, you know, ratio to see what is more advantageous to you. I would say that cash is really good vehicle if you have other investment vehicles. You could always use that cash to buy, you know, another property or, or save it. Many of the homes here in the Bay Area are older. You might need to do some renovation and most of the renovation are uh, paid by cash. So definitely keep enough of that for your home remodeling project down the Here's road. Here's one of the popular questions. How much down payment should I put down? Obviously, as I mentioned, that 20% will qualify you for a good rate. 
with most of the major banks. So you have 20%, definitely plan to put that down. On the other consideration is that what kind of monthly payment would be ideal to you? You might have a nice job, have a great W-2, but every month, what would you like to see as a monthly payment? And that would determine how much money you want to borrow from the bank. So you could keep the lifestyle and travel and have extra money to make the purchases on other items as you wish. So now you know a little bit about buying home all cash versus with a mortgage. I would love to show you my market prediction for 2022. So watch this video right here for that.